Hello and welcome to the bilingual channel where English is with you. This is Bilingual Learning, Chinese English Kids News Series. Episode 4, Lego is heading back to the 80s with a 2651-piece model Pac-Man arcade cabinet. Original Resource, May 22, 2023, by Jack Guy, CNN News. English and Traditional Chinese Pronunciation and Texts Based on the news from May 22, 2023, and authored by Jack Guy for CNN News, this piece has been rewritten to be kid-friendly. Lego is heading back to the 80s with a 2,651-piece model Pac-Man arcade cabinet. Great news, kids! Lego is taking us back to the awesome 80s with a fantastic new set inspired by the classic arcade game Pac-Man. This incredible Lego set consists of 2,651 pieces, allowing you to recreate the iconic Pac-Man arcade cabinet from the 1980s. 这篇文章是基于2023年5月22日CNN官网新闻。经过重写式和儿童阅读和聆听的版本 乐高将带领大家重回80年代 推出一款2651块积木模型的小精灵游戏机台 孩子们好消息 乐高带我们回到了80年代 推出了一款由经典机台游戏小精灵启发的全新套装 这款令人惊叹的乐高套装由2651块积木组成 让您可以回味80年代的标志性小精灵游戏机台 LEGO has gone all out to capture the essence of the original arcade game. The set features a special light brick that illuminates the coin slot, just like the real game cabinet. While you can't actually play the game on this LEGO version, it's packed with cool retro details that will make you feel nostalgic. In the original Pac-Man game, launched in Tokyo in 1980, players took control of a yellow, cheese-shaped character named Pac-Man. His mission was to gobble up all the small dots inside a tricky maze while avoiding four pesky ghosts. It quickly became the most successful arcade game ever made. 该套装配有一个特殊的灯光积木，可照亮投币口，就像真正的游戏机柜一样。虽然无法在这款乐高版本上玩游戏，但它充满了令人怀旧的复古细节。在1980年于东京推出的原始小精灵游戏中，玩家
To honor its influential role in video game history, Pac-Man was included in the permanent collection at the Museum of Modern Art, MoMA, in New York. It's a true testament to the impact this game had on popular culture. The Pac-Man arcade set will be available for purchase on June 4th as part of LEGO's Icons Collection. 小精灵引入了许多创新功能,如第一个强化道具。使得鬼魂变得脆弱，以及第一个剪辑场景，这些短动画序列在关卡之间播放。它也是迷宫类型中最早的游戏之一。为了向它在视觉游戏历史中有影响力的角色致敬，小精灵被纳入纽约现代